Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about copyright and creative credit. So increased connectivity has made it easier for us to share and access movies, music, books, and art. But it's important that we access and share this content in a way that is legal and ethical. Copyright is a form of legal protection for intellectual property, usually applying to artistic works. Any work of original thought is the legal property of the creator, and this is protected by copyright law. So the owner or creator of the work has the right to decide how their work is used or distributed. There are several types of copyright licenses, some that offer more protection than others. There are many types of licenses, but they all fit into one of these three categories all rights reserved, some rights reserved, or public domain. All rights reserved means that the creator reserves all rights and the work can't be distributed, reused, or modified without their explicit permission. This is the most strict copyright license. Some rights reserved means the creator might allow for some things like reuse or modifications as long as they are cited as the creator. Finally, there is public domain, which means the creator has dedicated the work to the public domain and waived all of their rights. This means we are free to reuse or modify the work as we wish. It's very important to make sure we are respecting the copyrights that belong to other people. Distributing copyrighted materials like images, movies, or albums over file sharing networks is a very clear violation of copyright, and it's against the law. But taking pictures, quotes, or videos from the internet and passing them off as your own is also a violation of copyright law. Just like you would for a research paper in school, when you use pictures, quotes, or videos that somebody else made from the internet, you should give credit to the original author. Whenever you use somebody else's work, you should cite your source. This would include the name of the author if available, name of the work if available, year of the work if available, the name of the site you sourced it from, and a direct link to the work. There are websites and extensions that make it very easy to cite content in the format that you need. These tools can be especially useful for school assignments. In conclusion, look for copyright licenses and follow the rules for the specific license used. Always cite your sources. Respecting copyright laws is how you show respect for the people who create content.